Hellraiser on Hulu. Beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's really one of the nice. best baby pops ever. You can hold oh, it. Oh, what the hell? Why is it not a cube? What is it? Oh, okay, it's a puzzle. Cube again. It is almost finished. Keep going. So if I solve it, do I get Ugh. a prize? I do. What the foliage? Were you just sucked up into it or something? What's your deal? It has six sides, six configurations. It opens up and it cuts you. Yeah. And then we come to collect. Can hit it into a into a wall in this one. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. So that was the official trailer to Hulu's Hellraiser, the remake of the nineteen eighty seven movie, I believe. Now I uh, have watched the original movies, well at least up to the fourth movie, because uh, they were on um, YouTube for free. Uh, just during COVID, the last couple of years, uh, I was bored, so I thought I'd give it a go. To be honest, um, I like the the character designs, um, the stories of it, but the execution of the films were never that great. Um, I felt sometimes it can be a little bit uh, corny, um, but it just, it, it just wasn't, uh, exciting enough for some reason, I, I don't know why I didn't feel anything from the movies, the, the only one that sort of, uh, made me feel like I actually was gonna enjoy the series, actually the second one, because, um, we got into a little bit of the backstory with, uh, and I'm pretty sure this is the second one, I can't, can't remember if it's the third one though, uh, but we got a little bit of the backstory of Pinhead, uh, we actually saw how Pinhead, Pinhead became Pinhead, uh, and, you know, I, I like that whole, that entire scene. It was just really well done, and it's, it's still very scary to look at, even to this day. Uh, that being said, though, I know I did a little bit of research on this when I was um, watching the original movies when, uh, when I had the time. Uh, in the books, uh, the Clyde Biker actually had Pinhead as uh, a female, and I've always found it a, bit, a bit interesting to see uh, if they ever decide to go back and redo this, and luckily now we've, we've really been actually doing that, so, um, it's going to be a very interesting take, and looking at this trailer, it looks very spooky, um, very interesting, I kind of wished it was a TV series, I think, um, something like this could work as a TV series, you know, maybe like a five or eight episode, uh, story, you know, per season, um, because I think one of the biggest reasons why I didn't like the original 80s movies, uh, into the 90s movies of it, um, is because it just, it felt very rushed as well. There was a lot of elements where I'm just like, oh, I wish I got to know a bit more about, um, that character or that part of the, you know, the, uh, but the biggest thing, um, that was always con uh, consistent in the entire franchise was the, the Celebites, I think, I hope I'm sorry, Celebites or Celebites, um, their makeup designs and all their design designs uh, were fantastic. The makeup was really on point. Um, they were always scary, terrifying. Even if you just saw stills, I was still chilled. Um, I still have, uh, you know, nightmares of the one where it's got, um, like, something got, like, it's like a hole in their throat and it was still throbbing. That still freaks me out whenever I see any photos of that one. Um... And I, I'm really hoping that this series can, uh, as well, sorry, this movie can be a base of maybe even a TV show so we can get to know a little bit more about these characters. Because Clyde Barker, um, absolutely phenomenal horror writer. Um, I've read a couple of his uh, stories. Um, and I've always felt that uh, Hellraiser could have been a lot better. Um, 
because I keep a lot of my friends who are into the horror genre love this movie to death, and and I hate picking it apart, to be honest, because geez, they're right. The character design is absolutely fantastic. The story um, is amazing. The other problem is execution in the actual movies have never been that great. So I'm hoping that this one is going to be um, a step in the right direction. Now the good news is because it's on Hulu in America, most likely it's going to be here in Australia on Disney Plus. Fingers crossed, it's not guaranteed yet because they haven't announced it yet like they did with Prey. Um, but I'm hoping that they do. Um, this will be definitely one I'm going to check out. Even though it's a horror movie, I'll definitely check it out. Um, simply because I, I want this series to uh, have legs. I want it to be actually good and, you know, like I can actually have a conversation with my horror buddies um, about this because they, they always get a bit of a hype when they, when they, when they um, talk about it. So... Um, He's hoping. So I'm going to say that the Hellraiser official trailer for Hulu is cool. I can't wait. And um, hopefully this is a step in the right direction for this series. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and enable those notifications to stay up to date whenever we post anything. If you can't wait for our next video, make sure to check out our podcast. It is available wherever you get your podcasts. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.